Twilight. Defender of the invisible God. You're very silent, Samson. Don't you like the company of Philistines? He prefers the company of an ass, war general. They have much in common. An ass is wise enough to obey his master. Your feet must be tired, Samson. Why don't you try walking on your knees? Stand all. Stand all. Water bearers to the ranks. <laughs> Let us hear your praise, Samson. <laughs> I doubt if prayers would be much help to him now. His real strength lies in riddles. Excellent, your excellence. Riddles are the sport of fools. <laughs> then answer this one, Samson. Out of Dan came a killer of beasts, whose head will pay for his wedding feast. <laughs> Has the pledge of my people been fulfilled? Yes, but that's not the answer to the riddle. Am I truly delivered into your hands? As truly as you are bound by ropes. <laughs> you seem to have lost your skill for riddles. This is the place of Lehi. Even the sky speaks against him. <laughs> oh, Lord, my God, hear me. Gird me for battle against the swords of my enemies. Forsake me not, O oh Lord, but strengthen my arm to destroy the lions who've scattered thy flocks. Oh, grace, come near me. Ah, ah, ah. Let them see thy power, O oh God. instrument of war. And when he called upon his God, the thunder and the whirlwind and the lightning were in his blows. A hundred killed, perhaps a thousand. There was no counting of the slain. But what weapon had he? More shame to us, the jawbone of an ass. A jester's toy? No sword of iron ever struck such blows. Men fell before him like wheat before the scythe. He's crazy. But had we no horses, no chariots to ride him down? He overturned chariots with a single move. He fought within a gorge so narrow that we trampled on the dime to attack him. And those behind pressed forward. And those forward were forced back upon the blades behind them. My eyes have never seen such a storm of death. And now vultures circle over Ramat Lehi, and Samson is gone under the hill.
take this fool and tend his wounds. Now, where is the Lord Artur? I am here, mighty Saran. Mighty? In what? Certainly not my army. Have you come to tell us of your triumph? Your messenger has given us a very thorough account. He even told us how your warrior Zamath charged like a lion only to have his skull crushed like an egg right through his helmet. And uh, uh, with what, High Prince Artur? Uh, tell this council the weapon used against you. <clears throat> well, tell them. Speak. The jawbone of an ass. <laughs> Lord Artur, military governor of Dan, prince of Philistia, army of armies, beaten with the jawbone of an ass. Our armies that scattered the Hittites, that swept the Amorites before them, that cut through Canaan to conquer as far as the circle of the earth, beaten with the jawbone of an ass. Are you a soldier or a clown commanding fools? What is the number of all the forces of our command, Lord Sheriff? Of chariots, 600 heavy, 1,000 uh, light. Mm -hmm. 500 dromedaries of the swiftest. 2,000 horsemen without the palace guard. Yeah. 3,000 heavy armored spearmen of the elite. 8,000 yes, levy... yes, and we're beaten by the jawbone of an ass. Am I, Lord of the Five Cities, to be laughed at before the world? Before my subject peoples? Because a Danite herdsman routs my armies. Don't set that down, you fool. Burns my crops, pillages, caravans that will, yes, even carries away the gates of my city. I asked for 10,000 men to crush these Danites for all time. Instead, you gave me tax collectors. The taxes delivered Samson into your hands, didn't they? It was you who couldn't hold him. This Samson has some unknown power, some, some secret that gives him superhuman strength. No man can stand against him. Perhaps he'll fall before a woman. Even Samson's strength must have a weakness. There isn't a man in the world who will not share his secret with some woman. Most of us have shared our gold with a woman. <laughs> More men have been trapped by smiles than by rope. Yes, you tried rope, Sartor. Perhaps you should have smiled at him. What is your plan, Delilah? Would you drive a tent peg through his head like Jael, the Canaanite? <laughs> no, that was not my plan, Lord Sharif. Uh, Delilah, do you know a woman who could entice this barbarian, this killer? Yes, my lord. I can deliver Samson to you. You, Delilah? You capture Samson? This devil? Heaven protect her. A dove against a bull. Bring in a woman and you bring in trouble. Such devotion is very touching. But what would you gain from his capture? My lord's favor. Well, you'll have that. Is that all you want? Uh, no. Name your price and you shall have it. Perhaps some little bauble in the street of jewelers? <laughs> You're very generous. Tell me, Sarab, what value did you set upon your last caravan? Samson raided near Gath. Eleven hundred pieces of silver. Here is the reckoning. Then that is my price. Eleven hundred pieces of silver. Eleven hundred? Your price is high. A pharaoh's ransom for a shepherd? Better silver than blood? We'll pay it. Eleven hundred pieces of silver. Uh, from each of you. Why? Eleven hundred pieces. I know. This was for each of us. By Calm yourself. You drive a sharp bargain, Delilah. From you, my lord, I ask only a promise. A promise for a promise. What is yours? To bring you Samson, bound and helpless. Bound by these white arms? No.